Take Out Book is another quick comic book, giving you any comic books that I picked up from this, like in the old kind of like flea market thing. And I got a lost accuse, so let's get from them. First, we have Hello Insurrection issue 3. I also got issue 4, what's up to some of my brother's room. It's in my brother's room. This is something a comic that my brother already had. I didn't know if he had issue 3 or 4. So I just picked them both up, they were a dollar. Uh, this one, he did have issue 3 already, so that's why it's down here. Uh, I might read it, I haven't read the Hello series, so I might give it a read. Even if I like it, I want to see if I like it. The dog was so I know. Might give it a read before you see if something I like. But I'm not already has a copy, I might just. So I, I will read it and probably give, sell it and I give it a pile. That's cool. Uh, this is probably what I was happy they had. I it wasn't special to get. It was good to get. Uh, Wild Dog Issue 2 or the last issue I need for the mini series. I saw this I'm like, yeah, I have to get this. I don't want to finish the Wild Dog mini series. This is the last issue I needed. Issue 2. I have three run now of Wild Dog, all four issues. And with some being on air, that's kind of pretty cool. That's pretty cool. A couple of these two books I got for Deathstroke Issue 9. This is the uh, variant bomb cell cover. DC bomb cell cover. It's another book. We really like it. I haven't read a lot of this new Deathstroke comic, but it is pretty. This is not the new one that's out now, but this is the second newest Deathstroke series. Pretty new one then. Next is a book, and I feel like I'm going to sneeze. So if I sneeze, I'm going to bang it out. But we don't. But next we have All Star Western. Featuring Jonah Hex issue 27. I like this book. It's a book that they made. Uh, I like how they brought that in Austin Western because it is an old comic name. That was this book back in the day called Austin Western. I like how they feature Johnny, Jonah Hex is the main like Western character when you think of DC Western. So there's a couple others, but yeah. It's pretty cool to see him like in there's a still, he's in modern times and stuff. It's pretty cool to see him like with at, reacting with Superman for the first time. That's pretty cool. And yeah, yeah, DC book I got was this. And there's your flash I needed. The Flash issue 23.1 of oh God issue 1. This is the one with the cover moves. Uh, I'm going to move this up closer. Don't know how that's showing on this, but the cover does move. I don't know how you, if you, how, if you can see it on this, but on the cover like, kind of moves a little with that. I mean, that cover, so I don't know how well you can see that. But I didn't have this. Uh, I didn't know, like, some of these I thought, like, are these going to be all just stories or what are they going to be? I actually like this one because it wasn't an origin, I felt it's just continuing, I feel like, the story about how continuing kind of, I guess kind of continuing the Flash story or kind of continuing um, just like a prequel to the comic that's coming out called The Forever Evil Rogue Rebellion story off of the, I guess the Rogue have to come in and stop, who I love and stuff. Pretty cool, and I can't wait to read that. Uh, next is all the small stuff I got. 70 for the cheap, this one was a dollar. One like the Assassin, issue 5. Comic, like I really, really like this one. Uh, so one of those super cool time comics that I think is pretty good. I'm actually surprised how much I like this one actually. It's one of the ones I was like. That's kinda weird, but I'm not sorry reading it. Like it's actually pretty good. This is one of the issues I needed. This is the last issue, it's only a five issue mini series, but I'm happy to get that, another issue I needed. Uh, next we got another book I was happy to say I had was Silk, issue five. We like Silk. This is another comic that I was happy to add. To my collection, uh, pretty it's on the cheap, wasn't too bad. I think I got some for a dollar. Pretty awesome. I actually do like silk, and this is an issue I needed for my collection. So I was happy to get that issue uh, five. Cause that series is only a couple, not that long. It's under ten issues. I think it's like eight or seven. Not that long. That comic was cool. Moon Knight issue fourteen. Now about this, I was like, sort of like, oh, so Moon Knight does go past cover issue because I had issue twelve, and I thought. Like, oh, it's at the end of the series, issue 12. And then I see this one, so I'm like, nope, it's not. It actually goes up more. So this is 14, another issue. A really violent issue. This is a violent comic. This one, I think, is almost going to be a chronobiotic one, I think, Moon Knight. But let's this issue in particular. It's super violent, like, super dark and violent, but it's really awesome. We like that comic. Uh, last two comics we have are All Star Ghost Rider issue 12. This is the only one I think I paid the most for. But I really been wanting this, so I kind of they had it, and I was like, I have to kind of, I have to kind of get this. It's the last issue for the only book I see. Not the last issue I need, but I wanted to, because I got the couple issues before. There's like eight, nine, like nine, ten, eleven. So I kind of wanted to see how the book ends, because it left off in issue eleven. Like, so I kind of wanted me to see what was going on. This is brother. The, I like how this book ends. I hope they bring this character back into another series, because I actually really do like it. 
I can like that Ghost Rider and how he drives in the he has a big car that turns into flames stuff really cool. The last book was probably one of the best books I got. Was the Star Wars Anyone Number One by Marvel. But this for the I guess the regular Star Wars series, I'm not hundred percent sure. You don't want to see blue for any of those characters in it. It's kinda of like his own. I feel like his own story was kinda of like some of his own characters. Like just for this uh annual maybe, I don't know. But still, I was just gonna be a Star Wars annual in general, if that's how they're doing it, but it wasn't bad, actually super duper liked it. And it does sell layer in a little bit, so it does sell layer. Really kinda of connected, but I actually really enjoyed this and it's a thing. It's pretty cool to get that, I was actually really get that for um, for a dollar. Hell yeah, annual for a dollar. That's everything I got in that time, everything I got for that, I got some more stuff within the film. But I hope you guys liked this kind of quick video, you can like it, favorite. You can also subscribe to the Crazy Grammar for more panic and stuff like that. Subscribe to the channel for more stuff like Mapbox, video game pickups, stuff like that. And you can always check out my social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff down below. You can always dab, I can also even like you guys. Bye!